We are dying every day. And we're in a hell of a condition because we've made a covenant with a government that is death itself. With a people that have lied to us, deceived us, and murdered us, and rubs us good on one side and kicks us in the behind on the other. You are a deceived people. And you take one for a friend. And the other burns you. You got some good white people. No, no, no. This is real. You have good white people who want to see this covenant successful. But you're not dealing with them when you dialogue. When you sit down with Bush, who are you dealing with? And do you have what it takes to deal effectively with him? All you can do is petition. That's all you can do. You sit and you confer. You talk. And you feel good. But the Bible teaches you that we war not against flesh and blood. The white folk that you have good relationship with, that's flesh and blood. They don't have the power. But the rulers of the darkness of this world, the principalities, the powers, and the spiritual wickedness that's up in high places, they are determining the success of your covenant. Don't you ever believe that they intend to fulfill their promise. The Quran says the devil promises only to deceive. How long are you going to hope in their promise rather than hope in yourself and God's ability to help you to help yourself. But to hope in the government is hopeless. This is a government that the founding fathers said, whenever a government fails to guarantee life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, that government either needs to be reformed or abolished. Now, when are you going to stand up? Because you don't have the juice to reform it. It has to be abolished and something new and better set in its place that the poor and the weak and the hungry and the lame and the homeless will find refuge in a government that really is a government of the people, by the people and for the people. And that's why my sister said, you all got to take your government back because it's been taken from you by a group of smart, crooked, industrialist bankers. Y'all know what I'm talking about. But if you don't have the testicular fortitude to say what needs to be said, then sit down and stop trying to say you speak for our people and the hurt of the poor.